what's up everybody hello hello and welcome back to my channel this is flylore737 and today we are going to talk about the nginx start of the Boeing 737ng so first what is an nginx start the hung start happens when an engine is accelerating towards idle rpm with normal combustion and an extraction of bleed air occurs so the engine never reaches idle rpm but instead keeps running in a lower stage so let's have a look at this into the simulator on the Boeing 737NG. First of all, we are uh, clear to start. Uh, we have a fully configured uh, pneumatic panel according to the uh, normal checklist uh, and the before start checklist is completed. So the first uh, next step is to place the engine start switch to ground. So next, uh, what we're going to see is an increase of N2 as a normal start, increase also of N1 as per normal start, checking of course that the start valve open light is illuminated, waiting for 25% N2, and then move the engine start lever to idle. So this is now moving the engine start lever to idle so we should see a normal acceleration of the engine a normal EGT increase and then all of a sudden mainly the N2 and the N1 are slowing down and they got stuck around this values between 47 and 50 percent of N2 around 12 to 15 percent N1 and of course the N2 is below 56 percent that is the minimum value to make the engine start switch to pop into the off position automatically so this is clearly a situation of a engine ang start so there is no way to continue to use this kind of engine in this situation so the only way we have uh, to solve this issue is to shut the engine down so aborted engine start non normal checklist is needed and one memory item as well is needed that is engine start lever on the affected engine cut off so first we need to put the engine start lever back to cut off position we call for the aborted engine start non normal checklist it's uh, chapter 7.1 of the qrh and it says condition on the ground an aborted engine start is needed objective to shut down the engine and motor it engine start lever affect then affected engine cut off place the engine start lever to cut off from idle to cut off and this was the only memory items we had and then choose one engine start switch is in ground or engine start switch is in off so let's have a look our engine start switch is in ground position most probably in a uh, hung start is always in the ground position so in this case we have to motor the engine for 60 seconds and then engine start switch affected engine off so still in ground the engine is still motoring most probably about uh, 30 seconds have already passed so 30 seconds more would be needed and then we can place the engine start switch manually into the off position so still 10 seconds to go and then we have uh, almost uh, yeah 30 seconds now total of 60 seconds from the first moment when we put the engine start switch into the ground position so we put according to the aborted engine start no normal checklist the engine start switch back to off and this concludes the aborted engine start non-normal checklist as you can see now the engine has been motored 
the N1 goes back to zero, the N2 is decreasing, uh, the EGT is stabilizing at a very low indication and then disappears and then the engine is ready for a new start attempt. Well folks, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, most probably this situation is uh, going to uh, completely disappear at the next engine start but if it uh, would show up again then most probably a maintenance action is needed and uh, entry into the aircraft tech lock would be needed. So thank you very much for your attention I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, See you on my channel. I'm FlyLorus737. Have a very good day. See ya.